Well, I changed my mind about going to Boston. Uh, I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to do North Conway first in New Hampshire, and uh, we'll see about uh, go Massachusetts tomorrow. So this is where I'm going. It's really funny how you find uh, hidden treasures when you're just driving around and you don't know where you're going, but uh, you arrive at these places that that is really, really beautiful. Oh. I just got one thing to say. Wow. What a beautiful spot. Driving between the mountains. Hey guys, just a little update on my van traveling adventures. Um, I spent the whole morning trying to diagnose a problem I'm having with the van. It's uh, sputtering on me and cutting out really bad. And uh, another thing is, I lost all my food in the refrigerator because uh, there's something that's it's not charging in the back for some reason. It could be related. I think it is. Um, there's no power out of the auxiliary battery whatsoever and uh, it's not charging uh, the battery and the uh, refrigerator is not working, the water pump for the sink is not working, nothing in the back is working. So um, that's too bad because I had a great grocery in there. I did a $100 grocery the other day and I stocked up the fridge and uh, it's all gone. But uh, that's not my concern right now, it's, uh, it's mostly the sputtering and the cutting out. Uh, I want to continue my trip, so uh, I'll try to get that get that going. Uh, the testing I did was the alternator, battery, uh, insulator, and stuff. And uh, the alternator is charging, but I don't think there's enough voltage coming out of the insulator to charge the uh, battery auxiliary. Um, I don't think it. I, it could be the alternator, but it's charging my. Uh, it's charging my uh, my front battery really fine, so it could be something else. But uh, it could be the battery too in the back that died. But anyways, there's a short there somewhere that's making the van cut out, and uh, I'm gonna try to find that uh, as soon as I can. And right now, I'm driving to an auto parts store uh, and uh, try to find one uh, now that the van is working. And I mean, I could <laughs> I could stop on the side of the road and die right here, but. Uh, it's getting me where I want to go for now, so uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the on the repair, uh, and uh, I'll see what I can do. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, keep, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey a uh, little update on my uh, van repair situation. I disconnected everything going to the back and it's still sputtering so it has to be uh, engine related. It could be a bad plug, distributor, fuel pump. I had a fuel pump that did that on me once but uh, anyways I stopped at a few auto parts stores and uh, actually five or six of them and there's not one that carried plugs or distributor for this van. They had to order it in. I found that funny because I thought these uh, 350s were were known to uh, you know carry parts for, it, but uh, I probably stopped at the wrong ones. But anyways, I took the decision to turn around and go back home slowly. I can still do about 40 miles an hour, 45 with the van before it starts puttering. So uh, it's it'd be easier for me and cheaper for me to go home and fix it myself than to 
stop at a garage here and get them to uh, look at it. And especially if it's the fuel pump, I mean, it's gonna cost me a fortune. And I did own a, own and operate a cab company home for 15 years, so I have all the necessary tools it takes to work on cars. I did everything myself on my uh, on my cabs. So uh, I am going to turn around, go back slowly, and uh, try to get that repaired. I still got some time on my vacations. I, I'm just starting, so. Uh, uh, if I can get that done fast, I can probably keep on going and go somewhere else. But I still got two full weeks, so uh, I just want to get on the road. So this is my decision for now. I think it's the good one. Uh, I still had a few places to go up in uh, up in the states, but uh, I mean, uh, five six hundred dollars out of your budget is uh, is good money. So I'd rather do it now and uh, and uh, save the money later on. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted anyways. Thanks for watching. I keep finding spots every friggin' minute. I don't know where I am now, but uh, what a gorgeous spot again. Really, really nice spot. Oh, look at that. This day is getting better every day, every time. Now I know why they're selling a lot of boats. Well, hey guys, uh, that's probably all the video I could find. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's not much, but it keep you going at least till summertime. Um, hopefully, summer's going to come fast because uh, I mean, I'm at the local Walmart here, and as you can see, we have snow in New Brunswick. And uh, let me tell you, I I, I hate snow. So um, uh, here to the summertime. I uh, hope you guys travel and uh, live life. Live life. I have a buddy uh, a couple weeks ago lost his life here in uh, New Brunswick. He got ran over by a snowmobile. It was a freak accident, but uh, you never know when you never know when you're gonna go. He was only uh, 34, 35 years old and um, too young to die. So enjoy life and uh, do some traveling this winter and maybe this summer. And uh, I'll uh, I'll make sure I post some more stuff uh, when I get the van out of storage. So. Um, Take care all winter time and stay warm, and I'll catch you guys uh, this summer again. All right, I thank you everybody for watching my videos, and uh, take care.